All right, we're going to take a look at cameras and, in particular, animating cameras around the path. If you look up here on the top, on these tabs, go over to Camera tab, click on it, and you have two options. You have Target and you have Free. In this demonstration, we're going to use the Target camera. And when you draw the Target camera, you'll actually click and drag and when you let go again you'll set the, the target so the first time you click is where the camera will be when you let go that's where the target will be so we're going to set that in the middle this little box right here is your target your camera is here we're going to draw a box so that we have something to look at we'll come down here just like in our other tutorial we'll select our camera view select camera once now we see it as the camera sees it pick up the camera a little bit get a little bit different perspective on it now we're going to set the path now the way we're going to draw the path is we're going to use a line so go to these 2d shapes here create a circle and we'll draw our circle and this circle is actually the path that the camera is going to take so we'll click on the camera under motion, we're going to expand this assignment controller out. Click on position, checkbox here, and you'll get this. And click on path constraint, click OK. We're going to come down here, we're going to add path. Now we're going to add the path to the camera, so the camera's selected here. We'll click add path, and we'll select this circle that the camera's on. Now just by doing that, you'll see here the keyframe set up, beginning and an end. And as we move our scroll bar, the camera spins around the box. Now let's say that we want to have the camera fly through a little town or something like that. Um, we're actually going to start over again. I'm going to delete this path. I'm going to move this over and create a little town that our camera can fly through. We'll make buildings of various sizes. And now we're going to draw a path through this town. I'm going to use my line tool. We're going to start here. Now if we click our line tool and then we click and drag, we can actually create arcs so that we have a little bit smoother transition through our town. we right click that ends our path so we don't actually have to close this line. We're going to put another camera on here. This time we're going to use a free camera because we're we don't want it to stay on a specific spot. We'll draw our camera here. We'll need to rotate it around so it's oriented the correct way. And we can use this we can use these numbers typing in uh, or you can just get it to where it says 90 or 180 whatever you're trying to get up here orient that around. We're going to come down here again. We're going to select our camera view. We can see what the camera's seeing. I uh, actually want to raise this up a little bit so that we're in the middle of the town. There we go. Again, we're going to go back to our motion tab. We're going to go to position. We have our camera selected right now. We're going to go to position, checkbox, path constraint. We're going to add our path. Click add path. Click on the path. So now we should have this camera following this path through here. We'll look at that. And we can see it here. And I'll click on here and we can see what the actual camera is doing. Now notice that the camera is always facing this direction. It's doing that because we haven't clicked on the follow 
if we come down here and click on follow, watch what happens with the camera when we do that. Now the camera's following that path. Now, it's not the smoothest, which we can actually change that around. We can smooth that out and things like that. I'll click on here and we can see what the camera's doing. A little bit jumpy there. We could also click on bank. All right, when we click the, uh, the bank button, our camera did some weird stuff here. You can see when I turn it off, it smooths out. When I turn it on, it's flipping all around. We can adjust that by this bank amount and the smoothness. So if we reduce, our ba reduce the bank amount, it's not so bad. And if we increase the smoothness, it smooths it out even more. So we'll look down here and see what it does. Still not exactly the way we want it. But the more we adjust this, the better it'll get. Now another thing that'll help us out is to slow it down a little bit. And the way we'll do that is click on our time configuration down here. We'll increase our frames. Right now it's the end frame is 100. We'll go to 200. Notice this jumped. Our key frame right here did not jump, so we'll click and we'll drag it out to 200. And now when we play this, we get a smoother, slower transition. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually adjust the camera itself. If we notice down here, we get real close to the buildings. It's hard to see what's going on even though we've got the camera moving uh, smoothly up here. So in order to do that, we're going to come up to the Modify tab, click on our free camera, and we're going to adjust the stock lens here. Actually, we're going to select a stock lens. And we have everywhere from 15 millimeter all the way up to 200, and we can actually do a custom lens if we want right here. So come back down here, look at what we've got here, and then we're going to select a, a small lens. And it's going to move the. It's going to look like it moves the camera out. It actually gives us a, a wider perspective of what we're looking at. Now we can see all the cameras. We can see the path that we're taking, and you can see it looks more like a uh, a movie. If we adjust it to 35 millimeter, a little bit closer in, 200 would be real close in, and you wouldn't see much detail. Now if you'll notice, when we click on this 15, we can see the path. So one thing we want to do before we do our final rendering is we want to click on our path, right click, and we want to hide our path. Uh, and by hiding our path, it doesn't take it away, it still works, we just don't see the path.